All right, guys, if you haven't already, I put the um, today's wad in the group chat for you to have a quick scan over. Uh, have a quick look at that, and then we're going to start off with a group, group warm up. Just a little bit dynamic, get everything moving, get the blood pumping. So, another 30 seconds, and then we'll get into this. All right, cool guys. Make sure you stand up. I have some space around you. And uh, always start off from the top down. We'll start with the head. So what I want you guys to do is like left and right. Just loosen up that neck. We're gonna go for about 10 seconds. Just nice and easy. Good, switching head side to side, ear to shoulder. Nice and easy. Okay, switch over, big arm circles, rolling forward, loosen up. Switch opposite direction. Just a little bit of fun to mess you up, one forward, one back. Switch opposite direction. Okay, body rotations. Good, set your feet a little bit wider, reach up to the sky. You're gonna do windmills. You're gonna reach all the way down to the ground and up to the sky. We'll go for about 10 circles. And switch opposite direction. Okay, good. Set your feet up, ready to squat. And we'll just do 10 slow squats, just to get the lower body ready. So let's go three seconds down, three seconds up for 10 reps. Ready? One, two, three, three, two, one. And just keep that going for 10 reps. That's it, down, bring it back up. Number three, down and up. Number four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Next, high knees. You're just gonna put your hands out just about waist level. And all you're gonna do, starting off nice and slow, Tap your knees to your hands, and we'll just gradually increase the pace. We'll go for about 20 seconds. So starting off nice and easy. A little bit faster. A little bit faster still. Last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands behind you, same idea. You're gonna try and get your heel to your butt. And you're gonna do the same movement. Starting off nice and easy. Again, 20 seconds. A little bit faster. A little bit faster still. And let's go, full speed. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, shake it out. All right, everyone grab your dumbbell. You're gonna need a space for burpees. Um, and what we're gonna do for the deadlift burpee, I would recommend 
you're going to move that dumbbell off to the side a little bit. So with your left arm, dumbbell goes down to the side, sprawl into a burpee, hop up, bring dumbbell to center, lock it out up top. So one more time, as I go down and move the burpee out the way, kick back, up, bring it in, nice flat back, not looking for a hunchback, staying nice and controlled on that deadlift motion. And that will be for eight reps. Straight into 20 air squats, nice and fast. Looking for depth, looking for lockout. Back to the other hand, burpee deadlift, and then finishing off with push-ups. Back straight, knees on the floor is fine. Look for full range of motion. Chest touches the floor, knock it out up top. We're gonna do that for 10 minutes straight. And you guys are just gonna try and fly through it. I challenge you guys to five rounds. So, find some space. Crank up your tunes if you got them. All right. Starting the timer, 10 seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Work. That's it. Try and stay as consistent as you can with your movement. You're going for 10 minutes. If you're out the gate too hot, you're going to burn out. If you don't go hard enough, you don't get a workout. Find that balance. That's it. Keep it up. If you have it in you, kick those legs out in the burpee rather than stepping back. If you don't have it in you, step back is perfectly okay. And we build it from here. And we see deep squats, chest up, knees up. That's it. Keep it moving. Wonderful, you guys, wonderful. Knees out, chest up. Dig deep for those squats. Hips below the knees. Come into that second set of burpees, let's go. As you pick up and put that dumbbell down, pay attention to your lower back. Make sure it's nice and locked out. Because it's a dumbbell deadlift, it goes lower to the floor. So don't be afraid to squat into it a little bit. As you come down, a little bit of a squat so you keep your back flat. Hop out, hop in, right back up, flat back. Excellent, very cool, keep it moving. Everybody's looking awesome. We're two minutes in. Engine should be getting warm now. Should be able to put the foot down on the gas a little bit. Let me see quality push-ups, guys. Quality push-ups. Don't be sloppy. Tight core, flat back. Whether your knees are down or not. Full range of motion. Full lockout. Keep it moving. Control your breathing. Stay out of your red line and keep moving. Non-stop, non-stop guys. Eight burpees, 20 squats, eight burpees on the other side, 20 push-ups. Beat five rounds.
Watch your back. Watch your back on those deadlifts. Keep it nice and flat. Deep squat, but full lockout up top. Don't cut the rep short. Go as low as you can while keeping form. Lock it out fully at the top. Down and up, down and up. Consistency. Find your pace. Stick with it. Breathe through it when it gets tough. Almost halfway, guys. Keep the tempo high, it's short. Nice flat back, you guys. Come on. Watch the back. You don't want to get a sore back from a dumbbell deadlift workout. Lock. Lock your core. Lock your back. Very cool. Everyone's looking amazing. Good pace. Good pace. Keep it up, keep pushing. Find your weaknesses and iron them out. Use this as an opportunity, get a little bit stronger, a little bit faster. Come on guys, keep it moving. It's a short workout. How much intensity can you squeeze into a short window of time? How much work can you do? We see that range of motion, guys. Deep squats, chest up, knees up. Last four minutes, we're getting there. Very short window of time left, guys. Break that five, five round barrier. Now's the time to dig deep. Breathe through the discomfort. Keep it consistent. Steady motion, steady motion. If you find that you're coming up on your toes in the squats, sit back into it. Keep the weight, weight locked down on your heels. Keep chipping away. We're getting close to the end. Squeeze it out, find it, squeeze it out. Lock up your squats at the top. All right, now really try your best to stay consistent. Avoid, minimize the breaks. Keep your motion going as fast as you can sustain it. And breathe, breathe, breathe. We're coming into the home stretch, guys. Last two minutes. Last two minutes. Finish one more round if you can. If you have it in you, give me more. Let's go. Clock's ticking, clock's ticking, keep moving. That's it guys, that's it, keep it up.
Last 90 seconds now. No more breaks. Do some work. Let's go. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. We're coming into the last minute. Keep pushing. Push through the burn. 60 seconds now. 60 seconds. Non-stop. You've all got 60 seconds in you. Let's do it. Keep it up. Keep it up. 45 seconds. Clock's running away. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 30 seconds left. Keep it up, guys. Come on. 15 seconds. Come on, push. Push, push, push. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Non-stop, non-stop. Dig deep if you have to. Let's go. Well done. Time. Nice work, guys. Take a minute. Have a sip of water. Shake it out. Then we'll go over the next part of the workout. So the next part guys, with your dumbbells. We're starting off. Dumbbell at your shoulder, and you're going into a strict press. You're going to do as many of those as you can until it burns out and you can't do any more. From there, you're going to switch into push press using your legs. You're going to squeeze out whatever's left in the tank. Once that doesn't go up anymore, you're going to switch to the other arm, and same thing. You're going to do this 45 seconds. So when this arm is burned out, you'll go into the next arm. In the opposite round, in the next round, you'll start with the opposite arm first. So again, strict press until you can't press it anymore. And when there's nothing left, use your legs and empty out that tank. Once the arms are all jello, you have a 15 second break before we move on into the next round, which will be a dumbbell row. If your dumbbell is fairly light, you're just gonna feet shoulder width apart, hinge at the hip, keeping your back nice and flat. In this position, you're gonna pull the dumbbell up and back. You're gonna pull it up and back, making sure that you're squeezing and engaging your lats. And again, you're gonna do as many of those as you can for 30 seconds. On the 30 second mark, switch hands, and same thing on the other side. Work that for 30 seconds. When you get tired, the tendency is to come upright but this changes the motion. So stay strict with yourself, stay bent over. Once that's done, you get a minute break and we're gonna do three rounds. Everyone good with that? All right, awesome. Uh, so it's 30 seconds per arm for the press? No, for the arm you're gonna do an AMRAP, it'll probably burn out if, you, if you're doing it hard and fast, it will burn out pretty fast. It's a 45 second window to get both arms in. To get both arms in. Okay. That's right, yeah. So I'm looking for pace. Try not to go too slow. Just like crank out those strict presses, get the lactic acid build up, and then move right into the push press when the arm stops working. And then switch it up. Cool. All right, everyone good to go? I'm gonna set a timer. This is nine minutes, starting in 10 seconds, guys. Three. Okay, work. Strict press, fast. Press, press, press.
Press, do your best to burn it out. When you're done, switch arms immediately. Keep going, guys. If the arm still got something, it just keep going. We're at the fifth, uh, 15 second mark. 10 seconds. Three, two, and let's go. Rows, bent over row, 30 seconds, right away. Right into it, guys. On this, keep your shoulder locked and squeeze your lat. Squeeze your lat. So if you find that you're pulling it up to your shoulder, try rather to try and get it closer to your pocket. Keep it moving, fast, get a lactic burn. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one, switch hands, go. Keep squeezing, lead with the elbow. Keep squeezing that lat. 15 seconds to go. Work it, last 10 seconds. Stay bent over. Last five. Minute break, guys. This coming up round for the presses, start with the opposite arm. Shake it out, get that blood back in the arms. Thirty seconds to go. Okay, here we go. Fifteen seconds. Grab your dumbbells. Opposite arms to start this time. Ten seconds. When you push press, drive through the heels and up onto your toes. Ready? Hit it, let's go. Burn it out, burn it out. Strict press first, push press second. Let me see full lockout up top. Come on, fast and dirty guys, fast and dirty. Get that lactic burn. We're at the 30 second mark. If you haven't switched, switch. Keep going. That's it guys, keep it moving, keep it moving. 13 seconds. Five, four, Let's go, right into the rows. 30 seconds, hard and fast. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those lats. Tight back, squeeze that chest. Don't round. Make them lats catch fire, let's go. Pull it back towards your pockets. Leave with the elbow on that movement. Three, two, one, switch sides. Right away, right away, guys, right away. That's it, keep it moving. Flat back, flat back, keep it tight. Don't give in, keep your tension. Last 10 seconds, hold on. And rest. All right, guys, coming into the last round now. Let 
That's it, guys. Very good. Sip of water if you need it. Shake it out. Loosen up those shoulders. And we've got one more. One more to go through. 30 seconds left. Here we go. 15 seconds. Get ready. Get close. All right. 10 seconds. Grab your bell. Five seconds. Work it. Let's go. Work it. It's the last one, guys. Make it count. You don't need to save anything. That's it. Speed. Make it burn. Let's go. Don't need to pace it anymore. Last 30 seconds. Twenty seconds to go, guys. Come on, hang in there. Ten seconds. Come on, guys, hold on. Keep it moving. Rows. Let's go. Last set of rows. Last exercise for today. If you have anything in the tank, empty it out, guys. Squeeze the back, keep it flat, squeeze your lats. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one, switch arms. All right, let's go. Last 30 seconds for today. Work it guys, work it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's go. 13 seconds on the clock. You're getting there. Hang on. Five more seconds. Come on. Hang in there. Hang in there. Almost there. Last round. Time. Nice work, guys. All right. Catch a breather. Have a sip of water. And then we're going to do a quick stretch for the upper body and lower body while we're here. Okay, what I want you guys to do is take a half kneeling posture like this. Let's see if I can fix this up a little bit there. So half kneeling posture, take the side, the arm on the side that's down, and you're just gonna reach right across. Try to get that stretch through the lats, right down into the hip flexor if you can. And we're just gonna hold it there. Well done. Nice. Then come back up. Holding the same posture, just reach across. Tricep stretch. But while you're here, what you're also going to do is lean into it and get a hip flexor stretch. So watching from the side, I'm just going to lean into it slightly. And hold. Nice, come back out of it. Final stretch on this side, still half kneeling. All you're gonna do, straighten out your front leg, keeping that nice and straight, flat back. You're just gonna fold in half. And this is really gonna hit your hamstring on that front leg. So once again, side view, this leg is straight. And all you're doing is you're just leaning into that stretch. If you're flexible enough, you can put your head on your knee or your hands on the ground. Otherwise, just try and hit this hamstring.
All right, nice. Coming out of it, all you're going to do is change legs and we'll go through that flow on this side. So, the knee that's down, the same arm reaches up, reach across. And see if you can feel that stretch right down to your lats, right down into your hips. Okay, coming out of it, reach across, stretch here, and then the next thing you're going to do is sink forward into the stretch and hit your hip flexor as well as you hold it. Nice, rock it back into that half kneeling. Straighten out your front leg, keeping your hips nice and back. Fold over in half and feel the hamstring stretch in your front leg now. You can rest your hands on the floor either side of the leg if you're flexible enough, or if you're even more flexible, reach for your toes, forehead on the knee. Awesome. Come out of that gently. And uh, we're going to call it a day there, guys. Very nice to see you all on this Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. I hope you got a little bit of a sweat going. Maybe a little bit of a burn while you did it. Awesome work. Keep Thanks, Ben. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris. I think, I'm starting to think of 3.30 is the favorite time of my day now. This is day two, doing the wads. I can't believe how good I feel doing these. I'm not going to lie, because it's been hard for me to find time to work out. Nice. But, Congrats. <laughs> It's That's surprising right. me. I'm not going to lie. These 30, these 30 minutes is like exactly what I need just to get that, like that dopamine rush and get a good feel. Thank you. All right. See you guys. Guys. Awesome. Thanks. There, Ben. Thanks, buddy. Thanks so much, Ben. Have a good one. Have a good one. Take it easy. Cheers.